hello welcome back to my channel i'm super excited to have you back again today on my session i'll be showing you guys how i made this very beautiful drawstring dress or a ruched dress that can be styled in four ways okay this dress can be worn like so okay it can also be worn like so it can also be worn like so <laughs> Uh, you could wear it as a top in this like I did in this picture okay not this one the next one yeah very beautiful so guys please stick to this uh video watch it to the end to see how I was able to you know cut the fabric into this uh drawstring dress thing. so let's get started okay right now in this uh video um this for this dress I used a lycra fabric and you can see it's a one-way stretch fabric so I had to make sure that I use the stretchy part for the width of the dress by that I mean that all my circumference measurements were taken in the stretchy part of the fabric okay that's if you notice I had to stretch to see which part I'll be that I'll be using before I folded uh, I folded the fabric okay so after folding the fabric the first thing I did was draw a borderline a borderline is just the line where I start to take my measurement from okay some people call it the shoulder line you could just call it the shoulder line because it is in the same line that will be taking our shoulder measurement okay the next line that I'm drawing from that border line or the shoulder line is my chest line okay to get the measurement for your chest your chest line it's your bust measurement that's the circumference of your bust divided by 6 plus 1.5 Okay, so whatever you get is what you are going to measure down from your shoulder line. Okay, so the third line that you're seeing over there is my half length. Okay, so I just measured measured my half length from my shoulder line down. And okay, from my half length, I measured 8 inches and that automatically takes me to my hip or line, uh, hip line. That's the line where I'll be, uh, I'll be measuring my hip circumference. So I have four lines over there as you can see. I have my border line or my shoulder line, my chest line. I have my half length and I also have my hip line. If you notice guys, I couldn't uh, put my camera properly. But I, what I was doing right there was extending my line the length to the, the the last line that is the length of the dress okay so that was what i did so after taking your four these four lines you then the last line you're going to be taking is the length of your dress okay if you notice i just marked uh i just marked uh, the measurement over there that's my shoulder measurement and now i'm marking my bust measurement that is my bust circumference divided by four my shoulder measurement i divided it by two now i'm measuring my waist measurement that's my waist circumference divided by four remember guys that this is a lycra fabric hence i did not really add any allowance after my measurement in fact i had to reduce my measurement by one inch why because the fabric stretches okay so if you're using a stretchy fabric try to reduce your measurements by one inch because if you give your exact measurement the cloth is really going to be very big okay so what i'm doing right now is measuring my hip okay so i divided my hip circumference into four and i put the exact measurement i minus one inch from the exact measurement and i marked it on the hip line so in this case i am just joining my curve that's my hip measurement to my waist and to my chest line that's my bust measurement okay guys in this case you could use your cover uh, your hip curve or your pattern master okay and if you're also comfortable using your hands you could also use that i'm just showing you that uh, nothing should stop you okay so what i'm doing right now is is trying to uh, draw a, a my armhole so i i drew my armhole curve from my arm who does the way my bust point my bust uh, measurement stopped and I, I i drew it up to my shoulder measurement okay um, definitely we are going to be doing some trimming while sewing so i just did this you know just to you know just create a, a pattern so the next thing that i'm doing this is a half off shoulder dress as you saw in the picture so i am deepening my 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 neckline to the level that i want if you want yours deeper you could go down below but what i did in this case was i measured down below uh from the uh, borderline to my close to my bust point in fact what i did was six inches from my borderline then you can see the line that i'm at i'm, at, I'm drawing my new 
armhole now. I measured three and a half inches from the tip of the shoulder. That's along that cuff part. Okay, when I got to three and a half inches, then I, I, I marked it and then drew it down to my, uh, my armhole. Okay, I'm just trying to explain that this line that I'm, that is over there. Yes. Okay, so that is my new armhole and this is how I take my off shoulder measurements. Okay, uh, I'm just, okay, so this is just what I'm showing. So that part that I just cut right now is the 3.5 inches from the tip of the shoulder. That is along the neckline that you drew. Then you blend it down to your armhole. Okay, I hope you're not confused. If you are, please kindly drop a message on my comment section so that I put you through on what i'm trying to the message i'm trying to pass okay so this is just simply the front part of my dress okay so i just extended it and definitely i reduced one inch if you have watched my video on pencil skirt you will know that i always take out one and a half inch from the hem line that's where the dress ends just to give it that pencil like fit so that was just what happened beneath the the hip line or the hem line so this is me i've already folded my for my back pattern in two remember the dress stretches so there's no zip allowance okay so i just you know divide, uh, folded my i'm about to cut my back uh uh dread the back of my dress right now so i just placed the same thing and i'm just redoing i'm just cutting exactly the same thing that i did in the front so in this case now it's up to you if you want the back your back neckline deeper than your front neckline all you have to do is increase the depth of your neckline behind uh, that's at the back or in front it depends on you okay it is just the same process but you know dipping it to the way you want so i am done now cutting the front and the back okay so what i did now what i am about to do now is to cut the sleeve so i remember that i already have my sleeve my sleeve pattern and if you watched my tutorial on uh, how I, I made this sleeve a basic sleeve you know that i told you that you can use this sleeve for any size okay so i'm just trying to measure out the distance that's the measurement of my shoulder tip to my armhole so that i will know how i'm going to cut the sleeve so in this case i got eight inches so you just keep watching and you will see how I was able to transfer these 8 inches into my sleeve. Okay? Just so that it matches and I don't have to, you know, begin to cut anything. Or just so it makes my work easier. Just to cut the long story short. So guys, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Remember that I, I promise to upload beautiful content. This is just the beginning. Don't give up on me. Watch my videos to the end. Share my videos with your families and friends. Okay, what I'm doing right here is just trying to arrange the fabric that I'll be using to cut the sleeve. So this is just me placing my sleeve pattern. The video on how I made this uh, sleeve, this basic sleeve, I'll put the link below. If you want to watch it, you could please kindly do so. Okay, so now this is just me remeasuring my 8 inches, okay? So I am marking where the 8 inches stop. And if you notice, you also find the allowance that I left there. So right now, please use a pin to hold your paper to, to your fabric so that when you're cutting, it doesn't shift and, uh, you know, stress the hell out of you. Just to make your work really easier. Okay, so this is just me cutting my sleeve and... Uh, Tada, I'm done. <laughs> That's why it's very important to have a, a, a already made pattern. You know, it really makes your work easier. So this is the sleeve of my off shoulder drawstring or ruched dress. So the next thing that I'll be cutting now is the facing of my dress. I really don't like, uh, you know, using bias or anything for uh, uh, lycra fabrics. They are always not so smooth. The finishing is not always perfect and I love perfect finishing. So I decided to use a facing for my dress. So what I'm doing right now is just arranging the fabric to cut the facing for my dress. I am still taking note of the stretchy part okay just so it aligns with the dress that you have already cut because if you use the non-stretchy part of the fabric you know to sew the stretchy part it just doesn't come out well so always take note of all this very little but very vital information 
okay so i'm just cutting my facing for my neck that's for my dress okay so this is just it okay so i'm done cutting the facing okay so the next thing that i'll be cutting also uh, that i cut also was my rope okay I, I couldn't show the video on how i was able to at achieve that but the width of the rope was just 1.5 inches and i made the rope really long because i think it's advisable for the rope to be really long instead of short so i had almost 120 inches of the rope okay so this is just these are just all that are or oh, this is just how to cut this dress so please guys subscribe to my channel so that you get notified when i post the video on how i sewed this dress into that beautiful dress that you saw earlier on <laughs> thank you so much for your support thus far i really appreciate them please share my videos with your families and friends and don't forget to click the notification bell to get notified when i post new videos thank you